Hello everyone, it's me and today um, I'm going to show you how to do this lovely rainbow inspired makeup look which is inspired by the fact it's June, Pride Month. So um, as you can see I've moved house, my room looks a lot prettier. I just want to let you know that I do move positions in this video and it is just because I realised the light is so much better in my room from this position and um, also you can see my room a lot better, um, it's a lot nicer than my previous room. Um, so yeah, I hope you like the video and here you go. So as you can see I've already applied my foundation, concealer, blush, contour and stuff and I'm just going to start with this lovely highlighter. It is a rainbow highlighter, sort of very in fitting with pride and I'm just going to get my big fan brush and just apply it in the areas that we usually apply highlighter. And now I'm reaching for my smaller fan brush because I feel like that could be used as a light from Brisbane. I am just going to apply a bit more highlighter with this. There you go. I'm just again just applying a bit more on the cheekbones because that's the area where I like the most highlighter because I like to make sure my cheekbones are nice and emphasized. And since it's summer and it's a June look, I am actually going to bronze. I'm just going to apply this coffee bronzer. I really like this one. I love the latte, latte art design and I really wish I could do latte art um, like the design on the bronzer. I'm just going to take my angled brush and I'm just going to apply. I'm just going to blow some of the bronzer off the brush just because I don't want too much. I'm just going to bronze the cheekbone area, under the cheekbones, in all the areas where we usually apply bronzer. And I'm also going to clean my mirror on my bronzer so that I can use the mirror. And I'm blowing it a bit more. And there you go, just applying a bit more on the other side. And on my nose, a bit more of this lovely halo of bronze. Just warm up this area just because it's supposed to be a lovely warm summery look. And now I'm just reaching for my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend out my bronzer just so there are no harsh lines. And now I've moved to a better position and I've just got my Urban Decay Primer Potion because I'm going to start doing my eyes. And this is going to be quite sort of like a sort of avant-garde soft pastel rainbow look. So I'm going into a pink shade rather than a red in this palette. And I'm just going to use it just to define the very outer V of my eye. Now this is also a shimmer look so I'm going to go for these shimmery pink colours and a bit of white as well just to soften it and I'm going to put that 
over the matte pink. We're just going to give it a bit more shimmer. And next up, instead of an orange, we're going to go for a peach look. So we're just going to take these orangey shades in this palette. And then we are going to mix that with some white and some orange, some shimmery orange and a bit of pink just to make it a nice peachy shade. And we're just going to put that next to the pink, just on the inner, the inside of that, just going more towards the center of the eye which yeah, I'm gonna add a bit more pink just to make it a bit more peachy and less orangey because we're going for a softer look And next up is yellow. We're just going to take this shimmery yellow colour and put it next to the peach. Again, we're going to use a bit of the shimmery white colour and just put that over the yellow just to soften it all. To give it a more soft shimmery effect. And then we're just going to take this matte pale green colour. And we're just going to put that next to the yellow just as a starting bit and then in the other palette we are going to take shimmery green colors and possibly some of the white too just to shimmify it and some white obviously And now we're going to take that matte pale blue from that palette and a bit of it from the other palette just because I like to use, I like to layer different colours and just make things more interesting. You can just make a very interesting effect. We're just going to put that next to the blue for our blue and then we're going to take shimmery blue shades as well as some of the white and just put that over the matte blue just to make it all more interesting. And then next up we're going to take a mixture of the matte blue and the matte purple and we're going to make the indigo colour, although we're going to make it more of a lavender colour because again we're going for a much softer look than what is typically done. I'm going to put some of the white and the pink and the blue, the shimmery colours, and some of that purple over, over our indigo lavender thing. And then we're going to take this other brush and we're going to go for our violets now. We are going to take that sort of violetish colour and we're just going to start off by dotting that into... We're going to take a bit of that shimmery purple colour as well as the pink and the white just to make it shimmery. And we're going to dot that in the inner corner of our, our, or our eyes and also along the lower lash line. And I'm pulling my hilarious face as usual, which I've been told is actually something I can't help doing, apparently. And I almost dropped my brush. And now we're just going to take that blending brush and we're just going to blend it all so that it just looks like a sort of pretty spectrum like thing. And we're going to put some of our highlighter on it now just to soften it and shimmify it any for, even further. I'm going to take some of the pink in that highlighter because it's a rainbow of different colours. I usually use them mixed but this is individual colours. I'm just going to put that over the pink. We're going to take a mixture of the pink and yellow and we are going to put that over the peach to make it more of a pale shimmery peach. And we're going to take a bit of the yellow and put that 
over the yellow that's on our eyes and take a bit of the green and put that over the green that's on our eyes. And we're going to carry on, repeat that step with the blue colour in the highlighter. And finally, a bit of the blue and a bit of the lilac with the indigo lavender. And finally, then we're going to put a bit of just the lilac over the violet. So we're going to put that in the inner corner and along the lower lash line. And finally, we're going to take this shimmery white colour and we're going to use it to highlight the brow bone. Blend that a bit more. And I've just realised I forgot to take my little fringe ponytail out from when I was doing my face and I've had that in for the whole video. And now we're going to take our eyebrow pencil and we're just going to do our eyebrows as usual, just the way you usually do. And now we're going to take our black liquid eyeliner and we are just going to do our usual cat eyes that we usually do. Just do the sweeping out with the wing and do the little flip over bit which I like to do. And the little inner corner extension cat eye thing. Lovely. And then we're just going to take our highlighter again. And we're going to put that over the eyeliner just to soften it because we want this to be a nice soft sort of hazy look and it's just a really pretty effect when you do that I love doing it I do it quite a lot and now we're going to put on some mascara just gonna put some black mascara on That's our eyes done and now onto the lips. First I've got my lip brush here, we're going to take this lovely red lipstick, ruby red lipstick and something I've started doing is I'm going to use the 
lip brush to map out my lip shape and to line my lips rather than using a lip liner just so I don't have to go and buy lip pencils. And then we're just going to start brushing the red lipstick just on the outer corners of the lips. And next up, we are going to take another lipstick. This time it's a sort of bubblegum pink colour. Because we like pink with pride. And we're just going to put that on the centre of our lips. Just to make a nice sort of ombre effect with the red. And right now we've got our red lip gloss which we're just going to put on top. And finally, we are just going to finish, and then we're just going to finish this off with putting just some highlighter on the centre of my lips and on the cupid's bow, just to make it all pop and just to give that kind of 3D effect, which I really like. That looks lovely, or just a bit more, so to give a real 3D effect, real 3D look. And finally, we have my setting spray, which is going to spray all this on and fan it dry, and we're done. I hope you like this lovely video and this lovely look inspired by Pride Month. See you next time. Bye!